I definitely think that it's okay to have a cheat meal more than just once. So breakfast is pretty simple. And this is the finished product. Instead of eating up, I'm going to go ahead to cook my dinner. I find the challenge uh, quite easy to fulfill and achieve. Have you wondered how a fitness influencer lives their best life? Jeremy Lee is today's Fitness Pro Spotlight. Hi, I'm Jeremy. I'm a fitness trainer. My diet usually contains high protein and high carbohydrate on those days that I train intensively and that will be Monday, Wednesday, Friday and maybe either on a Saturday or Sunday on top of a high protein and a high carbohydrate meal I will also end the day with protein shake those protein powder that I use are definitely for mass gainers I do have a sweet too so once in a while I indulge myself with bubble tea and that's usually once or twice a week I definitely think that it's okay to have a cheat meal more than just once as long as you have a well-balanced diet on other days and you also exercise intensively four to six times a week each time at least about 50 to 60 minutes so i don't really pay attention to the calories that i really will take in for every meal but i do pay attention to how much calories i burn for every workout with my Apple watch over here and on Sundays uh, let's say if, if I do not work out I actually do not wear the watch so my cheat meals most likely will be on a Sunday before I start a whole week again and then I'll, I'll go back back to my regular programming and exercising on Monday short-term goals I will say that don't spend everything you have make sure that you save a, a sum of money as reserve for rainy days as I've learned during COVID 19 pandemic that you know um, lockdown could happen I decided to be a lot more prudent with how much I spend my money. Long-term financial goal would definitely be to invest the money that I've saved. I have insurance link policy and I have also dabbled with um, unit trust and bond with the help of uh, my financial advisor. And that's something that I would think that the young viewers would want to take note of. My exercise routine usually contains like Pilates as well as a high intensity workout, weightlifting. All three of them will take about like two or three times a week. Each time that will be one hour. Let's go! We gave Jeremy a limit of $100 to spend on meals over three days. How did he do? So breakfast is pretty simple for me. Usually I will start my breakfast with a cup of coffee and I have my espresso machine for that and I will also like have maybe a small loaf of bread like this that costs about 280 coffee. I'm not exactly know how much it will cost for one cup but I have a coffee subscription like this from Cook's Coffee and that cost me about like uh, I can't remember $14 for one pack like this. I just finished the workout and now I'm having an avocado milkshake. One of my favorite shakes to go to after a workout. Cost about $5, so this is my brunch. Today is Tuesday. I am right now preparing for my lunch. And usually on a Tuesday afternoon, I do not have to teach. So I have time to spend in the kitchen to do that. So right over here, I have a box of smoked duck breast. Uh, inside this box, there are two pieces. This costs about like $7.60 on Raymark. So one piece like this would be about $3.60. And on top of that, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to have some mashed potato. So later on, I'm going to boil this two potato over here. And that will be my complex carbohydrate for today's lunch. That and this two potato should cost about like 60 cents, I think, because I bought a, a bag of them and they have like about six inside the back. So I have the potato being cut and placed in the saucepan. I'm going to boil it later on for about six to seven minutes or even more if I need it to be soft enough for me to make a mashed potato. And then I have the smoked duck placed in my air fryer. So I'm going to put it inside here and set to a temperature about 180 and let it air fry for 7 minutes and then this will be the potato bowl that's going to come out soft 7 minutes later on and this is the finished product um, I've already cut the duck and at the same time already smashed the potatoes so what I've added on top of the potato is some sauce um, there are some truffle oils on top of it as well as some diced Time being sprinkled over it well, together with some salt and pepper and that's it that's my lunch they are full of workout I will usually refuel my 
body with the protein shake that I've chosen for myself is actually gonna be a lean mass gainer because personally I'm my body type leans a little bit more on the skinny side. It actually costs about $73.39 and it can last you for 24 servings if you have three scoops in one. So that adds up to be about like $3.05 for each time when I have three scoops being taken out from this bag. And then on top of that, I also add like one, one scoop of creatine from this bottle, which is like $22.60 from Lazada. They serve about 70 serves, so each serve um, that will be added to my protein shake, it should be about like another 5 to 10 cents more. So this actually is what I will usually do after a day uh, that I have a workout. This is today's breakfast, so I'm gonna have two slices of bread and this is actually new bread and then I'm gonna have butter spread on it and I also have a slice of cheese and maybe two slices of ham. Total cost of this will probably be I would say hovering between two dollars to three dollars. So for today's lunch I decided to spend a little bit more than what I did yesterday because I feel like I could bought a little bit more. So this is a $12 food bowl that I got from Daily Cut. I gathered that since yesterday I cooked for lunch and I didn't spend over ten dollars for dinner last night. I could actually maybe spend a little bit more for today's lunch. So I decided that for dinner I will do something that is cheaper instead of eating out i'm going to go ahead to cook my dinner a simple one so over here i have two breaded chunky cod loin okay so um, inside this box which cost me 12 dollars there are two pieces so i'm going to have just one so that will be six dollars and then on top of that i decided to maybe go a little bit having like committed some pleasurable scene and have some fries um, so this is chunky chips Crips and fluffy chips. So this bag itself costs about four fifty, and usually I split it into five servings, with each serving is roughly about one hundred eighty to two hundred grams. So that will works out to be about like ninety cents for each serving. This is like four fifty. Over here is the finished product of the cod loin, together with some fries added, about two hundred grams over here. Yummy. Good morning. Today is day three and this is my breakfast as usual. I'll just start with coffee and bread. Today's bread is a little bit healthier <laughs> in my opinion because this is actually whole meal with walnut inside it. So I usually will have the entire loaf of it. My breakfast slash brunch, another cup of avocado milkshake again. Day three lunch, I decided to get a um, baked pasta with chicken from Collins. So I got this for $8.80 after a 25% discount at GrabFood. So I did a takeaway. So I'll add a little bit of ice in it and then I'll have like uh, three scoops to be added into this. One, three. I feel like that's good enough for to supplement me with whatever protein that I couldn't get from the three meals that I take daily. As much as possible, I try to have like a high protein diet, just to refuel muscle building in my body. And then just uh, over here, one scoop of this creatine over here. And then what I would do is that I will usually just add water from tap. Or if I feel that I want to have a little bit more taste, I can actually add oat milk, almond milk. Yeah, something for that. I, I find the challenge uh, quite easy to fulfill and achieve. I was given $100 to spend for 3 days, 9 meals. To be honest, I do not spend so much on breakfast. I'm easily satisfied with 2 pieces of bread and a coffee. So that helps to keep the cost of the meals down. I'm aware that I do eat out uh, quite often for lunch and dinner, but that's also because of my busy work schedule. However, if I were to keep it within $15, I will be able to spend within $100. The meals that I select to eat, I would say that I'm able to choose high protein meals and that's not a challenge for me. Taking care of yourself doesn't need to cost a lot. Planerby is proud to partner with savvy fitness pros to eat better and spend better. Subscribe for more tips for a better life.